Hello everyone and welcome back to Transport Fever 2 in our modded series in the Midwest region of the United States. So today we are in a city that we ignore quite often called Cambridge. So welcome to Cambridge. We do have this whole entire map here of plenty of other things going on, which we will get to. If you're new to this series, welcome. But otherwise, let's fix up Cambridge because everyone that's been following along so far knows that I have not been really paying attention to Cambridge whatsoever. So let's get this fixed up. I want to start a new project. And before I get any further into the video, I just want to say that videos are coming out in a weird pace now. I do apologize. I did start a new job and it's conflicting with some schedules for right now. But anyhow, let's get into the video. So Cambridge, as of right now, you have two lines and it barely hits like anywhere in the city. It's pathetic. So we're going to have to hit pause and we're going to have to reroute this. Now the train station itself is in an okay section, I think. Let's take a look at where all our buildings are. And by the way, we did add some more mods as well. So it is a little bit easier to visualize things right here. So I'm thinking, would we be better moving the train station right here? Because right now we're in the residential area. How good are we doing on... Ah, uh, it lagged. Okay, that was weird. My whole system just kind of glitched out on me. So we're growing at a 200% like rate. <laughs> so right now we seem to be doing just fine. We're doing good on the emissions level. Emissions, traveling through here. Uh, it's okay, it could be better. We're actually gonna move the train station as well. I want to get in a cool project nonetheless. And that train station is looking really bad. So I do not like that. We do have a high speed and we do have a, what's it called it? electric system I don't know what else to call it for you but we can get it in like right here I think that would work out well if we just delete this road and then the street right there or we could go ahead and do something like this so it's like up against a road ah eh, let's just delete things sorry goodbye 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 all right, here we go. So we're gonna move the train station right here, and it's for a valid reason. It's just because we want to avoid more of the residential area. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. I'm also going to place a road depot here. As you can see, it took me a minute to get down properly. But we're gonna put in a nice little road depot here with two sections for now. We'll probably edit that soon. Oh, that's going to annoy me. I have to fix that. It's not centered with the building. There we go put it right there and I'm gonna fix the roads right over here just because it would look better also rest in peace if a train were to ever go off the rails it would be going straight to these businesses not my issue and there we go we fixed it up so it looks a little bit strange but it's fine we'll leave it be let's go ahead and we got to connect up this rail which I'll do here but I'm gonna try to figure out a new plan for our bus route in Cambridge so I'll be right back Okay, so we just finished Cambridge and it was a hefty project and it wasn't really anything too exciting But I'll show you what I did. Uh, by the way, this train station is going along with this depot. So thank goodness Goodbye and goodbye to that depot as well. So over here in Cambridge We have four bus lines now these bus lines go around the city and I'm going to show you where each one goes So we're just gonna pull this up real quick just so we can see all the colors and you can see quite a bit. Let's go here and we'll go to all the industries so we know what we're looking at. So over here we do have our depot which has four little sections. Now we have an orange one that goes up to the top right which will go around our residential area. We have the pink one that goes straight up the city right through one of the main roads and what that will do is it will bring people to some of the uh, workplaces along with a lot of the tall uh, residential buildings. We have a red line that will bring you over to both residential and commercial and then the blue one to uh, work uh, commercial and a few houses here and there. Kind of got disorganized there I guess. Basically we just have to see how it goes and I'm gonna hit play. We did redirect the train by the way so it will go right over here into our new station and before I forget we did add new vehicles in. We add the new coach vehicles, and those vehicles have colors to them, so we know which one belongs to what line, which is really cool. So we're gonna let that settle out for right now. We have two coach buses for each individual line. 
I'm assuming that a few are gonna have to, you know, kind of give and take here and there. So we'll look back at that soon. That took me like 20 minutes. For you guys, it took a split second. So uh, another thing that I was looking at earlier, if we really wanted to fix up Cambridge some more, is to actually redirect this highway system and upgrade the vehicles. Which I think we can do, but is it really necessary right now? I don't know. But instead, we're gonna do some management because we have some old vehicles including three trains that are very bad in very bad condition i should say so let's go ahead and clear that up over at huntsville delivery we also need to upgrade oh my god i forgot how many lines are in the city it's a mess and we should probably add another line soon cool oh goodness huntsville delivery what do we got here so we have five vehicles i'm gonna sell the one of the newer ones and we're gonna manage these vehicles and upgrade them because they are very out of date. Let's give you the Opel trucks. I think you deliver construction material, so we're gonna give you those new trucks and they'll move much quicker. And that being said, let's upgrade this road because that would make them move a lot faster and would really help with the scenario. There we go. Had to remove some buildings, so very sorry. And cool. Back to the vehicles. We have Rochester crude oil, bad condition. You can deliver more oil if you wanted to, right? Manage vehicle. You are making us some good money still. I appreciate that. We can still give it the Mikado and it should work out just fine, but maybe we give it the 412 to class 9000. It's a, that's a mouthful. And add, what? how many carts did we have on there? Eight last time? So that would be eight. Let's add two more to that. So a capacity of 120. There we go, $17 million gone just like that. All right, then we got Anchorage, Wichita. But before we go to that, we have this train over here that is Rochester Fuel, which helps connect up everything. So Rochester Fuel, where is your vehicle? Is it pulling into the station or is that the other one? That's the other one. How old is this one? Excuse me, I still have one of these old trains in here. I'm replacing this. This is ridiculous. Oh my God. Okay, yeah, we're replacing you. Sorry, dude. We're gonna give you a capacity of 84. Makata doesn't do that well, does it? We'll give this one one of the class 9000s again. So, there we go. Much better. Here we go with the fuel line, manage vehicle. We're also gonna replace you. We're just gonna give it 120 for now. There we go. Another $17 million gone just like that. Anchorage, Wichita. We also have a few other lines that are just going bad by the minute. Okay, it's okay. Anchorage, Wichita. What are you up to? How many people do you transport? Oh my god, you only have three carts on you. What on earth did I do to this line? How many people were still waiting here? Oh, not that many. It's still an old train. We could give it the Pioneer Zephyr. That could work. Let's at least upgrade this to a high-speed track because we're going to use a high-speed train anyway. Oh, that's only a capacity of 52. That would not work out. So we're going to give it this locomotive right here, which is a high-speed one. I don't feel like giving this one an electrical line. And then we're going to add on... A capacity of 72 for now. That seems good to know me. If I could only speak properly, now it has a capacity of 72 people. Let's see if that actually fills up. And we have two new boats, so those are cargo boats. Nice, nice, nice to know. Oh yeah, and I forgot we were gonna do things with that, uh, with the goods line that we were gonna do, but to be honest, I'm recording this before I even release the video, so therefore it doesn't really matter, right? Uh, we'll probably do that in next episode because my video schedule is all over the place. That's fine. All right, cool, that line's fixed. And then it's just a bunch of vehicles, which I'll take care of. So let's get past this part. Okay, so I'm looking at a slight issue. It's not that bad, but it's, you know, something to take a look at. Now, we're over here in Lexington and the airport is busy. And it appears that we do have a little bit of a backup over at our bus stop, nothing too bad but it could get worse. So we have about 25 people waiting here and not too many people waiting back at the station, back in the city. So I believe this is the line, yes it is. I'm gonna upgrade these vehicles to our coach buses. So we're gonna go ahead and upgrade the road as well. And that's an old road as well. So I'm actually gonna upgrade it to something a little bit nicer. There we go. <laughs> Anchorage, Lexington. This is an old train line. We built a big bridge here a while ago and we tried to you know, like reroute it or something like that. We got a lot of people waiting back there. Oh, what an old locomotive. No, we need something better than that. Uh-uh. All right, let's look at hypotheticals here. All right, looking at hypotheticals here, this could work. If I did something like this, right, and I had it so that this bridge would go 
just two over here and kind of do a cut through so we didn't have to have this train kind of do a weird loop and we could build a high speed track in between both cities. We could do that and I think I'm gonna have to go for it. Ooh, but it does slow down a little bit. It goes down to 112 miles an hour versus 186. Is it because of the type of bridge? It is. What if I built a new bridge? Okay, time to do a speed build. We're gonna fix this up. Okay, so we finished the project, and it was a little bit rough, but we got through it. We didn't really hit any issues. I'm gonna replace the train here in just a moment, which you can see is obviously having an issue. We have a high-speed track with an electrical line on it, and it has the same route like usual, just except once it comes through the mountain, it actually just dips down right away. We had to build a bridge here for the road. Uh, we could just like leave the road like not here because it's only an iron mine, but for realism's sakes, we built it again. Comes through here, hits this very big bridge, and I actually wanna see how tall this is. I think this is, what is that, 50 yards? 150 feet tall, versus the other one, which I think was like 100 or something like that. Yeah, so like, that's ridiculously tall. Cool, then uh, it comes over here, we basically hit the same route, I kinda of redirected it a little bit so it's a little bit more smoother, and it comes over here, over to Anchorage. Now the more people that we transport to Anchorage from Lexington will actually boost the amount of profit that we make from not only who comes over here to Anchorage, but who decides to go over to Wichita, to Huntsville, which is the most important part of this. Now this is a long line, so we're going to go ahead and fix this up. Anchorage, Lexington, and I think that there's like, yeah, almost 300 people waiting here. Let's replace this with the PRR class, and I think... I want to do this. I have a capacity of 144, and just to make sure that it really goes far enough, we're going to have two locomotives on this. First train to have two locomotives. It's going to be needed. $40 million. Right there. So let's see if it will fix itself out, or if it's going to get stuck. I'm pretty sure it's already stuck. It's loading up people, but it looks like a mess. <laughs> Look at how bad that looks. Okay, here we go. It's starting to get moving now. This is a long train. I don't even know if it fits in the whole entire train station. I don't think it does. Look at how long that train is. Oh my god, it didn't even pick up everyone, what the hell. Oh, look how beautiful this train is, just look at it. 82 miles an hour already. We just unlocked a new airplane along with the big boy. <laughs> So we have a new locomotive and a new plane, that's awesome. And Anchorage, Wichita, you are not filling up your cart, so you may be losing money soon, but hopefully that other train does help that situation. So before it runs into the station, it was about 93 miles an hour for our Anchorage-Lexington line. I don't even think you fit in the whole train station, do you? Yeah, see, it blocks this road, which is actually bad. So then we had to wait for this train to unload for these guys. Ooh, that's another issue in itself. Yeah, that's going to be an issue because we actually have a line there. It shouldn't be too, too bad, but it's still something that we need to keep an eye on. My 135 people on that train, making us that made us a $2 million in that run. And that was only like at half capacity. We could have fit like double the amount last time. Huntsville, what, what's the matter with you? Huntsville, Irving, I thought I upgraded you, did I not? Maybe I did need to upgrade you and I just didn't yet. Irving, Burbank probably needs an upgrade too. Oh my goodness, you gotta see because this is an old locomotive too. And this bus stop is going freaking insane. The red line. All right, listen, I thank you guys for watching. I'm gonna leave it here. This is a project for next episode. There's a lot going on and we just need to, I need to take a break from it. And I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, be sure to give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. Comment suggestions, leave me down below. I will take a look at them. I would highly appreciate it. Sorry for no Planet Zoo for Planet Zoo followers. I will give you a new Planet Zoo at some point here when I actually have time. And I shall see you guys in the next episode. Goodbye.